Hello, welcome to Golf Beginner World. I want to help you hit the ball straight. If you haven't played much golf, if you haven't held a golf club in your hand very much, then there's an excellent, super easy, fast way for you to correct your ball flight, to get your balls to fly straight. If you've played golf for a while, but your handicap is still high, I would not change the grip. Because changing the grip after playing golf for a long time, that's a huge change and one loses feeling in one's hands. I'd rather just work on swing, plane, turn, these sorts of things. There's plenty of really good golfers like Dustin Johnson and so many more who have very strong grips or golfers like Jordan Spieth who have very weak grips and you know how well they play golf. But it is complicated to play golf with an extremely strong or weak grip. A neutral one is a lot, lot better. I'm going to show you what you can do right now to get rid of your slices and your hooks. And because you haven't played golf that long, uh, it really will help you. And the change won't be much at all. It'll be actually easy to do. So what you've got to remember, this is the rule, my rule, that I tell my students. If you hit your balls to the right as a right-hander, okay, you're a slicer, then what you should do is the following. Take your normal stance, grip the club like you normally would grip the club, and remember the ball flew to the right, so that means you need to turn your hands to the right. Both hands. Only do it a little bit in the beginning because a slight change can have a huge impact on the starting direction of the ball. So turn your hands to the right, and it's a good thing if the club is more in your fingers rather than in the palm. Okay, so now you have a strong grip. So this is very, very good for you as a slicer because with this grip, it's very difficult to open the club, but it's very easy to close the club and rotate my arms and hands. And rotation, closing of the club, is really good news for a slicer. So once you've changed your grip, make a few practice swings and you'll notice something different. First of all, I hope you're starting this, the swing, the downswing on plane, but you'll definitely notice your arms starting to rotate. And I'm sure you'll see a difference in the ball flight. It could be that your balls start to fly to the left. That is a really good sign. That means you've changed something. And if you're hitting balls to the left, what you automatically will do is swing more to the right. Okay, so that's definitely a good step in the right direction. So for those of you who hook the ball, take your stance, grip the club like you normally would do, but you, because your balls turn to the left, curve to the left, you need to turn your hands to the left. Okay, so always turn the hands in the direction in which the ball is not supposed to fly. So left means I've got to turn my hands to the left, if you then notice that you're suddenly holding the club more in the palm of your hands, that's good. You don't want to hold the club in your fingers when you hook the ball. So now we have a weaker grip. And why is this good? A weaker grip makes it extremely difficult for me to close the club. And the club face is the main reason why your balls are hooking. But I can't close the club with this grip. It's easier to hold the club slightly open. And it sounds crazy, but an open club face is for a hooker a wonderful thing. I must warn you, changing from strong to weak uh, is, uh, is a big difference. You'll, it'll feel so foreign. You won't know what your hands are doing. But do it for a couple of weeks and you will get used to it. I promise. So when you make your practice swings, you'll then notice that there's a lot less rotation through the ball, which is great. Please change this, try this out before you invest time and money um, in your golf swing. I'm sure it's really gonna help you. If you've liked this video, please thumbs up it. If you haven't subscribed, and uh, I'd love to read your comments and find out uh, what you think about the videos and what you'd like to learn. 
I'm here for you.